Welcome to our video entitled Cold Forceps Evulsion with Adjuvant Snare Tip Soft Coagulation is an effective and safe strategy for the management of non-lifting large laterally spreading uh, colonic lesions, NLLSL. We were driven to perform this study by the number of uh, difficult non-lifting lesions encountered in our tertiary practice. As the number of um, laterally spreading lesions detected via bowel cancer screening programs increases, it is to be expected that referrals for tertiary endoscopic management of these lesions would increase, and in doing so, two groups of lesions will emerge as difficult to complete. The first group is a group of lesions which have been previously attempted for endoscopic resection, and in this study we have called these PANL, or P-A-N-L. Another group of lesions is naive um, lesions which uh, just do not lift um, via some aspect of their biology, and we have called these uh, naive non-lifting uh, laterally spreading lesions in our study. NL, LSL are challenging to remove endoscopically and often necessitate surgery even at tertiary referral centers. Techniques to remove non-lifting laterally spreading lesions have been described but these suffer from either increasing the cost or complexity of the procedure or these techniques have a lack of follow-up described in the medical literature. In the study, we attempted to demonstrate the efficacy and safety of cold avulsion with um, a standard biopsy forceps available in all endoscopy units um, and adjuvant snare tip soft coagulation using the tip of the same resection snare used to perform the EMR, um, one millimeter exposed uh, with soft coagulation settings available on all modern electrosurgical generators. This was a single center prospective observational study into which we enrolled 540 lifting laterally spreading lesions and compared them with 101 non-lifting laterally spreading lesions into which these split 63 naive non-lifting, i.e. those which had not been previously attempted, and 38 previously attempted non-lifting LSL. All of the lifting LSL were completely removed with snare excision. All of the naive non-lifting and previously attempted non-lifting lesions were removed with a combination of snare excision and then cold forceps avulsion with adjuvant snare tip soft coagulation. We found that previously attempted non-lifting lesions or panel were smaller uh, and more likely to be non-granular than lifting laterally spreading lesions. We found that naive non-lifting lesions were of a similar size and morphology to lifting laterally spreading lesions. In terms of the safety and efficacy of CAST, CAST was successful in complete removal of the non-lifting area in all cases. And adverse events, namely intraprocedural bleeding, Delayed bleeding and delayed perforation were comparable to standard or lifting laterally spreading lesions. In terms of adenoma recurrence rates at first surveillance colonoscopy, lesions which were completely resected by snare had a recurrence rate of 15.3%, whereas lesions resected by a combination of snare and cast, previously attempted lesions, had a recurrence rate of 15.2% and naive non-lifting lesions resected by a combination of snare and cast had a recurrence rate of 27.5%, significantly higher than the rates of the other two. We found that surgery, however, was no more common for either type of non-lifting laterally spreading lesion versus standard lifting laterally spreading lesions completely removed by snare. In conclusion, we found that CAST is a safe, effective, and surgery-sparing therapy for the majority of non-lifting laterally spreading lesions. It can be applied to anyone's practice since the equipment required is no more than is available in any endoscopy unit already performing endoscopic mucosal resection. This technique offers the potential to revolutionize the treatment of non-lifting laterally spreading lesions and avoid surgery in these difficult to remove lesions. Thank you for your attention.